Hello, and welcome back to another Barry Central Review with me, Bear Elliott. I hope you're having a great day because we are having a wonderful day here at Barry Central's, but have come to the realization that the small screen is sure becoming crowded with more and more super beings. I know we're in the age of the geek, it's a golden age, but there's a lot of superheroes that are keep coming onto the small screen. So it pretty much started with Arrow, then we got Flash, and we can't forget about the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that are over on ABC, they're on the Marvel side, but the DC Universe seems to really be expanding in the small screen universe as well as the big screen, but the small screen is exploding. There's a lot, a lot of characters. The big difference between Marvel and DC in regards to the small screen wars is that Marvel's kind of sticking to what they do best, ABC, which is owned by Disney, which is owns Marvel, you know, the, the whole running thing. But DC is owned by Warner Brothers, which also is a part owner of the WB, which became the CW. So we have the CW, which has, oh boy, we have Arrow and we have Flash. Now, next season, we have even more shows coming to the small screen in the form of, let's see, okay, I'm trying to run down the whole entire list of things that are coming. Supposedly, there's a Teen Titans one coming, but I think that's going to be on cable. Constantine still trying to figure out where it's going to go. Um, you have, oh boy, you have The Legends of Tomorrow, which I'm going to be doing a very central review for that trailer as well. But the big one that we're coming to today is the Supergirl trailer. Now, Supergirl has been one of my favorite characters ever since the Bronze Age. If you don't know comics, there's the... There's the Silver Age, the Bronze Age, Gold Age. Well, the Bronze Age is kind of like the 80s region. This is that Supergirl right behind me. Well, recently, let's see, it's CBS. CBS is going to have her. Oh, it's so hard keeping all these things straight. Oi, oi. Oh, and you can't forget about Gotham because that's on there too. I forgot about that one because I don't watch it. it I don't, I didn't like it. Okay, that's, that's something else. So, back to Supergirl. So recently, CBS released a huge long trailer for the Supergirl show, or the Supergirl show. Yeah, we'll just call it the Supergirl show. It's the Supergirl TV series. Well, I took a look at it today. I've been kind of hemming hawing about it because how are they going to work this? Because now, supposedly, this show also takes place in the exact same universe as Arrow and Flash and Legends of Tomorrow. So all of those take place in the same thing. And rumor has that Constantine also takes place in the same universe as well. But the movie versions, they do not take place in the exact same universe. They're a completely different storyline. So it's a completely different Flash. It's completely everything. So in this almost six-minute trailer, we get to find out a little bit about Kara. Now, Kara is the human name for our Supergirl. She's also our Kryptonian name, Kara. I guess it goes either way. It's very... CW feeling. It did not feel like a CBS show at all. Now, high points is the special effects looked great. I'll have to say that. I thought it looked great, but it's very much geared towards a younger crowd. Let's say the 20-ish and the tween range. Now, Kara is portraying a 24-year-old. This is where it gets weird. She's never been a reporter, but she is the personal assistant to Callista Flockhart. Which, it was nice to see Callista Flockhart back. Boy, she looks... Yeah, yeah. She's playing Cat Grant. Now, Cat Grant is a longtime character in the the Superman realm. She's playing her assistant. Very uh, much Devil Wears Prada. Uh, there's even a scene about her coffee being hot. And I was like, wow, that's taking right out of Devil Wears Prada. There's other sub-characters, like Kara actually has a human family, very much like Clark had a human family, but she has a sister, and the sister's involved in this. I don't believe any of that was ever in the comic books. I don't ever remember Kara having a sister on Earth. Then she also has a supporting cast. Now, here's where the interesting thing is. You have a supporting cast member of James Olsen, who's Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy Olsen in the comics has always been Superman's best friend. It's his best pal. Always portrayed as a geek, kind of nerdy, always getting, almost like the damsel in distress when Lois was, is always the damsel in distress, but this is the guy in distress to Superman. 
he's in the Supergirl. It is a big departure for this character because never has um, Jimmy Olsen looked so hot. Uh, never. He, it was quite disturbing. He's a very good attraction, attractive guy. So I don't know if he's going to be the love interest to Kara or if it's going to be this other guy that's helping her develop the costume. That's an interesting thing as well. They do show in this trailer her getting her costume and like the different manifestations that it goes through. That was kind of cute. That was funny. I got into that, but I kind of thought it was weird that everyone knows that she's Supergirl. It doesn't seem like that's like she has a super, like she has a secret. Um, she gets named by Calista Farkark's character of Cat Grant, and she kind of has a problem that she's called a girl, but then she's like, why do you have a problem that you're a girl? So there's this feminist thing going through, which is cool. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, it just, it, I don't know. I'm really on the fence after seeing the trailer. I was kind of excited about it because I like the character a lot, and I'm hoping that maybe they'll introduce Batgirl because there was this great relationship in the Bronze Age of the 80s where Supergirl and Batgirl had this great friendship. I'd like to see that revisited, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, who knows? Who knows if she's going to cross over to Arrow or not, but... Mm. So overall, the trailer was interesting. I think you should check it out. I'm going to put the link below where you can take a look at this, this six-minute trailer and definitely comment about this. I'm curious what your reactions are because mine might be a little bit different from yours. So I hope that you like this very essential review. Overall, I'm going to give this three paws. Three paws on a five-paw scale. It's got potential, but there's got a lot of worrisome in there too. So I hope that you like it and definitely tune in. It's going to be airing on Monday nights at 8 o'clock, so not on Tuesday. So it won't be interfering with my Muppets. Yay! So another one to DVR for next year. So I'll see you in the fall. Actually, more November. Winter-ish. So until next time, bye, couplets! I could count in the dark, I see you calling my name. I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same. Every word that you are throwing right into my back doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick. Let me go. Let me go.